Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about my journey into the tech world and why I am so head over heels about it. And as you are about to hear, the pun is absolutely intended. This tale takes us from the frosty wilderness of Alaska to the lively streets of Mexico through a series of jobs, suffering from a workplace accident to winding up in tech. Now, I'm a Gen Xer. Born in the year of the dragon, some notable dragons would be people like Jimi Hendrix or Bruce Lee, who were long gone by the time I hit the scene, but I am in good company. Growing up in Alaska, as you could imagine, was no cakewalk. I had some personal struggles early on, and being a Gen Xer, let's just say it was a wild ride. Fast forward, I became a young adult, left Alaska, and found myself basically homeless. That's when I went to Job Corps, and that gave me a trade and kind of set me on a drastically different course in life. Now, my best friend at the time, a reformed gang leader turned what we called in high school a holy roller, dragged me into a Spanish-speaking church when I was 19 years old. And about six months later, I decided to tackle the endeavor of learning Spanish. Learning Spanish was like trying to ride a bike with square wheels. It didn't exactly come natural to me. Everyone said I had to go to Mexico, but I was still all about the red, white, and blue. And still, I relished in the idea of becoming some gringo and knowing how to speak Spanish. Don't ask me why. So after Job Corps, I crashed back with my dad in Alaska he suggested a trip to Mexico. And two things were glaringly obvious after visiting Mexico. The first one was my Spanish was laughable. And there was some magical thing about this place. My grandparents often told me about life in the 40s and 50s. And when I went there, I was kind of brought back in time. I vividly remember dreaming my first dream in Spanish, somewhere in Puerto Vallarta, kneeling in conversation with a guy from Colombia. I think at that time it was God's way of telling me that I was actually going to pull off learning Spanish because sometimes I honestly wanted to quit. The next two decades were a whirlwind of splitting time between work in the U.S. and life in Mexico which was kind of the best of both worlds, if you ask me. I wore many hats. Fish processor, North Slope juggy for a geophysical company, a roofer, and the guy dangling off the sides of buildings with a squeegee. I had life by the tail until everything changed on September 19th, 2014. On that day, a split-second decision resulted in a fall that severely fractured both of my heels. I had to adapt to a new reality, and that's where tech came into play. This is about 10 feet from where the accident occurred, and honestly, I don't know why I took this picture that day. In life, I could always fall and hit the proverbial ground fairly hard and always dust myself back off, until one day, I literally hit the ground and could not get back up. I was already into Linux at this point. I was the cool kid on the tech block. And I remember showing like all of my friends all this cool free and open source software that I was using and different things like that. And honestly, I was gearing up for a career switch when life threw me this curveball. Now, after undergoing four heel replacement surgeries, uh, after facing numerous setbacks, let's face it, I'm just not as bouncy as I once was. Today, I'm managing minor renal challenges, recovering from an open heart surgery, and navigating through the unpredictable twists of life. My commitment to the goals of this channel and in life remain unwavering. My Gen X friends often gripe to me about being working stiffs with no hope for any change. Well, I want to show them and anyone tuning in that tech is for everyone. Setting up a LAMP stack 
or dealing with life's curveballs, I'm here to share the real deal. Now, whether you're in Alaska, Mexico, Canada, the U.S., Europe, or just floating in the digital cosmos, tech is a ride worth taking. Thanks for hanging out on my roller coaster. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And keep that curiosity burning until next time. Bye, everyone.